All right. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. How's everybody doing? We're back. We are back. It's been a week. It's been over a week. Am I am I coming through okay? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Um, it looks like it's working on my end. I'm running OBS on my new PC computer. I'm so confused. I've, got, I've still got my... Hi, everybody. I'm Paul, and I'm from Conversations with Curtis. Welcome to our stream today. It's good to see all you guys. Uh, starting to People starting to file in here. And if it's Michael, good to see you. MDQP, there you are. Yellow Butterfly. That's a new name. I haven't seen that one before. Nice to meet you. Velvet Tea Cake, you're back. I think I saw a funny comment from Do Wadu saying something about we're broadcasting, not for broadcast. That doesn't sound right. Anyways, good to have you guys. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, my computer setup is insane. So I've, I'm, you know, I still use my Mac for my my life and my other businesses. So I have that off to the side, and then I got the big PC here, and then the other monitor, and I'm just, it's just a, it's crazy. But, um, but I. Th but we got a brand new game on this on this computer, which would never have played on on the Mac. So, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a week. It's been over a week, and um, I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's going on. Now, one of the updates is that I did a, a video newsletter um, last a couple days ago. I guess over the weekend. And then I posted it, and then about 10 minutes later, we, we took it down. And I'll tell you why. It's nothing too dramatic, but I, I will share with you right now just some of the stuff that we uh, I, I chatted about. And that's, um, I was on tour last week in uh, in Portland for my, my other job. I, I guess I've never really talked too much about my other job, and I won't get too into it right now. But for about 12 years, I've worked with a company that goes into public schools, and they do uh positive behavior assemblies, you know, mostly for little kids, K kindergartners through through sixth graders. And uh, I tend to train the performers who go into those schools, but also I have to go into the schools myself so that I can can practice what I preach. So so last week I was uh, was in the Portland area uh, going to numerous uh, elementary schools in that in that area and uh, and doing this positive behavior assembly, which was really, really fun. It's neat to be back in schools. Teachers were awesome. Kids were really into it. And then it just so happened that Letters Aloud, my other company, my company, uh, had a public performance that night. Not that night, but that last Sunday in Portland. So I stuck around for the weekend. My team of artists came out and met me, and then we did our show on Sunday. And now I'm back. And then I'm back on tour again next week. So it's been a lot of things are picking up with my other job, which unfortunately is keeping me from from playing more games with you guys. But uh, but we're here today. We'll be here on Friday with uh, with Curse of Monkey Island. Looking forward to getting back to that. And very excited to play a brand new game that I've been hearing a lot about today. Um, so uh, yeah, it is a cool gig. Thanks for asking. Fun guy plays it. It's been a, a really satisfying job. I've, I've, I was a full-time employee for them for about 10 years, eight or nine years. And then I decided to step away because I really wanted to focus on my, my company, my Letters Aloud company. But that doesn't bring in enough of, of uh, that's still a startup, I guess. So now I'm able to work for the, my other, you know, the, my, my job at like 20 hours a week, do Letters Aloud. And then now, of course, a conversation with Curtis. So lots of, lots of plates spin. Um, but yeah, the cool thing about that program is it's all about uh, positive mindset, um, growth mindset, which is a, that's a key phrase. But just this idea that kids have about if they can't do something right away, they give up. And then we try to instill the values of the power of yet, um, which is you know not saying I can't do it, but you say I can't do it yet. And that that word is a stepping stone towards towards. Um, continuing to work at something and, and, and getting better at it. So pretty cool. Um, I'm going to bring Daniel out in a second. Uh, but before I do, so, you know, yeah, 
I guess that's it. I, I could I could ramble. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't caught up with anybody. So I feel like I want to just keep talking. I hope you guys had a good week. I hope you were able to, you know, get things done, check things off your list. Um, would love to hear, you know, throw me a, throw me a couple things that you guys got done this week. Tell me tell me some 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 you know perfect checklist moments. Um, but while I wait for those to come in, why don't we uh, s- pay tribute to our Patreon members? These guys, all those guys right there. Thank you all so much for continuing to support co- uh, Conversations with Curtis on a monthly basis. You guys kind of keep the engine r- running, keep us going on a, on a uh, daily, weekly basis, and we do appreciate it. And so... Um, as always, I want to thank Malika Chandler as our top donor, followed by Francois Damagella as uh, right below her, and then Robbie, Joseph, and Moffat were born for our uh, leading the top charge, and then all of these other ten and twenty dollar members who have been doing that. And of course, we have a lot of three and five dollar members too, and they are on our Phantasmagoria Dimension Next website game. But uh, you got to be at least in the $10 range to, to get on our, our weekly thank yous. Um, and then that leads us to our coffee donors. And the coffee donors are all about supporting these streams that we do weekly or whenever we can uh, to help uh, create you know, high quality streams and, and good fun and all that. Um, and so we always uh, pay tribute to our top seven donors for the last 30 days. Um, and these are them it's james jenkins in the lead he was he kind of dropped off for a while but now he's back so hopefully uh, he'll stay there or moffat reborn might want to take over zwex right said brett good to see you right said brett are you here i haven't seen your name in there yet i hope so uh ray koopa Hardy pavlov and yt wanderer so um so yeah thank you guys for your continued support and we would love to get your support today to help us get to our goal all right, um, I think this is a perfect time to bring out our good friend, Daniel Albu. So without further ado, everybody say hey to Daniel. Daniel. Hi, Paul. Hi, everyone. How you doing, man? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. You, I, I just talked about my, my week. It was um, filled with, with work and, um, and really trying you know I, I put a lot of energy and effort and hard work and driving and all that stuff so what did you do last week but first of all don't you want to talk about the newsletter i do i want to hear what you did last week first though okay and uh, well the rumors are true first of all i guess that people noticed that since i wasn't streaming while you were away then i was probably away as well so the rumors are true i've been to dubai Dubai. He went to Dubai. Did you just recently say goodbye to Dubai? I recently said goodbye to Dubai. And what, what was the highlight? Was, well, the Burj Khalifa, of course. Being a, a Mission Impossible fan, I always love to visit filming locations for Mission Impossible uh, movies. So given that in the fourth movie, Tom Cruise is jumping off the Burj Khalifa, the highest building ever built. And so it was exciting for me. Nice. How high? How, how high are you as a uh, non-super spy able to go? On that, I, on that I went to the hundred and twenty-fourth, hundred twenty-fourth floor. Dang. Do you uh, do you love that, or do you get a little uh, vertigo-y when you look at when you're up that high? No, I don't get vertigo. I've been to the Twin Towers, the original. Twin Towers themselves before I... they disappeared. Yeah. And I've been to the Statue of Liberty. And did you climb I've up? I remember in... doing the Statue of Liberty. You actually go in and you yeah. walk up. Yeah. It's it's very you think it's gonna be a little bit I don't know why when I was when I went there I thought it was gonna be uh more luxurious. <laughs> but it's just you're inside a big nah. big metal It's just a stairway. Yeah. A very claustrophobic stairway. Yeah, for sure. And then when you get yeah. up to the to the to the crown, you can only get like five or six people in there at a time. It's not nearly uh, yeah. Not the, yeah. And and you can even take a selfie there. 
because it looks like you're stuck in a small room. So you can tell everyone that you've been in the Statue of Liberty, but there is nothing there that actually supports that theory. Right. You're just in a room with a very small window, uh, which uh, can or cannot be uh, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Now, this uh, trip uh, was special for several reasons. First of which is the fact that it's my first trip abroad since the beginning of, of the pandemic. I just, uh, I, I, you know, my worlds are colliding right now. Ahmad, I see you there. And he just wrote, I was just in Dubai. Daniel must have just missed each other. But uh, Ahmad is my pal. He was in a uh, a play with me down in, uh, 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 we, you know, we did uh, the last play that I did, which was in Seattle and then San Francisco. So thanks for joining, man. Good to see you. Um, anyways, I'm sorry. Finish that, finish that thought. So anyway, it's my first trip abroad since the beginning of the pandemic. So that was special for that reason. And second, traveling to the United Arab Emirates has been impossible for me as an Israeli citizen until recently. Uh, Israel and the United Emirates um, have signed a peace treaty and agreed on full diplomatic relations only in 2020, with the first commercial flight to the Emirates taking place later that year. And direct flights to Dubai only started like eight months ago. So this is all brand new. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, congratulations. That sounds like a good good time. Were you rested? What What did you miss the most? Live streaming. <laughs> I set that up for you, didn't I? Um, all right. No, when I talked to Daniel, I will tell you this. I'm going to tell you all this story. So when I saw Daniel yesterday, we were trying to kind of go over... Uh, over the week and what we what we're doing and what we're trying to do. Um, uh, when I asked him, you know, how was his trip? He, he his, his first thing was he said he said he had a great time and then he said I really miss my computer, <laughs> not live streaming, just his computer. Just he just he missed it. So, all right, so let's talk a little bit about this this newsletter and why we mysteriously took it down. Do you want to do you want to take a crack at it or how do you want to? Well. Here, I'll do it because I was the one who did. I did the uh, yeah. thing. So, so Daniel and I are, you know, we're we're trying to grow this 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 channel. It's that simple. We we we've worked. We've been at it for for over well over a year, and we guess we're pushing two years now, right? And um, and we're seeing growth, and we see all kinds of um, opportunity for us to do more, and and um, and so. We're strategizing on how to do that and how to to um, uh, increase revenue so that we can put more energy into this channel and a little bit less energy into all the other things that, that we have to do. So that we've done this before, but, uh, you know, we just mentioned that I, mean, I just mentioned that I talked about, you know, where we are with Patreon members, where we are with donations, how we are producing more content than we ever have, but we're actually making a little bit less than we ever have. And, uh, and in that um, video, I, you know, I, I made a plea. I said, hey, it would be great to have people join us on, on our uh, Patreon or coffee or things like that. Uh, and then we posted it and, and sh shortly after it got posted, someone uh, wrote a, a comment saying something to the effect of, you know, you're asking for for money. People do this stuff for free. You're, you know, really, do you need more money than you already have? Blah 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 blah. Yeah, the person was offended by us asking for for money, and that was not a big deal. But I think what Daniel and I realized is that I threw that up there pretty quickly because I was in my hotel room in in, in Beaverton, near Portland, and uh, and then what we got out of that, despite the the fact that it came from kind of a grumpy place was I don't th we've decided that rather than just asking our small but devoted group of people to contribute funds and you know tip or donate that we need to grow beyond that we need to come up with more um, services and and fun things to make people want to join so rather, so we took it down because the idea is that rather than asking for money, we want to provide um, fun opportunities for people to want to do that. And uh, and so we got to work on that, and we have a couple of things that we're going to share with you in a couple of minutes. But but that's kind of my perspective on it. Daniel, do you want to fill fill folks in on that? 
Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to say about the comment. The comment was was written by someone who created the user on the day the newsletter was posted and deleted his account shortly after. So I understand that it came from a very, um, let's say, someone who didn't want to uh, have a conversation. Not exactly have a conversation. Someone who didn't want to say in his um, in his full name what he actually thinks, and rather than sending it us to us as feedback, we have enough communication channels on Discord, DM, email, on what bothers him or um, he'd like us to change in conversations with Curtis. He he chose to do that and. It's, that's his prerogative, but we we want to see how we grow beyond that, and we actually provide the people who actually enjoy the content and what we produce, and how we give even more. So, in, in terms of what Paul is talking about, we've uh, talked about adding a few commissions on the Coffee Channel, which are types of services that we'll be able to produce. We started off by adding a greeting card options so that you'll have in case you similar yeah, to can... what Cameo does. Let me show this. I have a, I got it all set up here. Let me see if I can make sure it is. Uh, oh, got, let me share it with you, Daniel, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, there we go. Hold on. Let me find it here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So what we have here, uh, first of all, we have a video green card from Curtis and you have customization options. So you'll get the, the video, the standard video greeting card with the name of the person you want us, you want uh, Paul to congratulate or, or yeah, this came out of uh, um, when we did the uh, Kickstarter for the for the um, VHS cassettes to have them digitized. Uh, we had tiers, and one of the tiers at the higher level was uh, a video greeting from Curtis Craig, and uh, and w one person uh, did that, and and I created this fun video where I'm Curtis is sitting at his WinTech office, and then. He had, I talked to him and asked him what specifically, you know, he might want me to say. So he found, he had some lines from the show that he really liked. So we crafted a little video where Curtis was talking to him. Uh, and then just recently we got a, a request from someone saying that Phantasmagoria was his best friend. You have, you have an echo, Paul. Oh, Blue Yeti. In this scene. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, I know why. Let me get rid of that. Um, not anymore. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Um, so, so the idea was, uh, some guy reached out and said his best friend is turning 40. He's a big fan of Phantasmagoria 2. As a birthday gift, would you consider uh, doing a greeting card? So Daniel and I are like, well, we've done this before. If people would want something like this. And of course, Daniel could create magic with using portions of the old game with me coming in there now. So the idea is that we're going to offer this up. There will be a templatized kind of standard version, but then if you want something more complex, we can, we can work with you. Right. Yep. So w w at the moment we'll have the standard greeting, which is ball um, with uh, one of the backgrounds that you can see in the live streams. Um, greeting someone uh, and the the customization options currently include a customized message in case you want to write the script for the greeting card yourself and in the future we're going to add a few more customization options like actually inserting Paul inside a scene from Phantasmagoria so that he will be superimposed on the scene so that you'll have a um, 
a smooth transition between the old content and the greeting card and then back to the old content make yeah. it more interesting and then the other thing that we have for now and we'll add more to this as we go but this is something we've talked about um and tell us yeah tell and us the what... other thing we have is co-host for a day which is an option for either people to play with us a game they like or for game developers or game publishers to play with us their game on stream so it will be very similar to what we uh, did in the past with uh, Graham Divine, for example, when we played his game on stream with him and he, we interviewed him during the live stream. But this can go either way, either want to join us for a fun live stream with, uh, with us playing whatever game you'd like us to play. Or if you want to advertise your game, that's uh, a way to do it. Um, the add-ons in this option is the ability to have a uh, two-episode deal. You can have one episode, and then you can add. Yeah, you know, if you like the game so much, or episodes. if it's going so much, if people are loving it and, and having a good time, and, and you are really enjoying it, and we don't want to end. You know, there's more game to play, and you want to keep going. Then there would be a a fee to keep going that would be less than the actual. Uh, original fee so those are the two things that we're thinking about and this is just our way of rather again rather than just asking people to give towards what they already like we want to keep adding more fun ways for you guys to engage in that way so so that's all we you know again we took this uh, that that video down not necessarily because of that one moment but the video didn't have a whole lot of other substance to it and and ultimately we decided that it's better to to uh it was a good learning experience for us i think and and uh, yeah. and we'll just keep moving on so all right um speaking and, of and another and another thing i, I want to say and to add about the, the the commission is that another option that we'll add probably in the next couple of weeks is the ability to create your own fmv game so the if you'd like to have a more a complicated or a more elaborate greeting card for your friend you can create a full FMV game for your friend so the standard game will probably be like three rooms you'll send us backgrounds and your friend uh, will be superimposed on that background on those backgrounds just like Paul is in the game Phantasmagoria and you can send the scenes for transitioning between rooms and then the add-ons will be more and more rooms. So if you want to create an um, an FMV game for your friends or for yourself, this will be another option. I mean, come on, that is just. Could you imagine? I mean, how many? How awesome would that be to be able to have an FMV game that you yourself are in? That's pretty awesome. Um, all right, let's talk about this game. I, I've heard about this game from numerous of you guys. Numerous of you guys. That's just bad bad language um ahmad who i uh, i saw earlier he he mentioned this to me in a text the other day too having he says he's been playing a lot of um fmv games but i understand i hear this is just really really fun and this is one of and here's the best part about today we're playing a game that he hasn't played yet this is his first time he doesn't he's not the hint keeper of course so we get to watch the mind of daniel albu figure things out on the fly and then next I think week, YouTube is down. Huh? I think YouTube is down. We're like YouTube we're in general, on, all of YouTube. Yeah, we're live on Twitch, and YouTube wow. is down. Um, holy mackerel! Okay, so what should I do? You want to do a note uh, on on the YouTube? Well, no, I, People, people are talking about it, but uh, just check that it isn't restream. Uh, I'm still streaming. Uh, okay, it's back up. You're back up. What's going on? Okay, hi guys. Hi. Um, How long were we gone? Seems that YouTube had a glitch. 
Not us. We were still not me. On not Twitch. my OBS. Not my new computer. But YouTube had a glitch. Just want yeah. you all to know that it's not my fault. Um, Actually, we had the same glitch on one of the premieres uh, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. which was odd. Well, anyway, we're here, and uh, what I wanted to say during the um, the part which in which YouTube was down is that another one of the commissions will be an FMV game that you can create to yourself or your friends in which you'll send us photos of yourself uh, in front of a green or white background and I'll cut you out and create an FMV game with three or more rooms according to the customization options that you choose and this will be an interesting way to create a greeting card for your friends or have a fun FMV game for yourself. Yeah, I mean, come on. That is so cool. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to get some more light here. So just I'll be back in two seconds. But tell us about. Well, let's let's do. I'll do that in just a second before we go. So we're about to play not for broadcast. I've heard a lot of really cool things about this. A lot of people on our Discord channel have mentioned this game. My friend Ahmad recently texted me and told me that he uh, that he's played it. Um, and we have a computer now that can actually do this. But the best part is that we get to play a game that Daniel has never played before. So we get to watch the, the, the mind of Daniel Albu figure stuff out in real time. So that's going to be awesome. And if we love this game and decide we want to keep playing it next week or the week after, because I'll be gone next week, um, we'll give him the controls. And then I could be the guy in the background. That'll be kind of fun. So that's our that's that's the plan for the next little bit. Um, so go fix your light. I'm gonna go fix my light. You tell them what the heck you know about this game, if anything. I'll be right back. Well, I know nothing about this game. One thing that I've uh, loved about movies um, in the past couple of decades is that back in uh, 2003, when I went to watch The Matrix Reloaded. I watched every trailer possible, and when I went to see the movie, there weren't any new scenes because I saw everything in the trailers. So from 2003, right. I decided not to watch any trailer oh, yeah. and never read any synopsis for any movie before I watch it. Oh, wow. So, Well, how do you know what you want to see? I, I usually go on a hunch, like wow. the name of the movie and the poster. That's the only things I know about movies. Usually when it's a more famous franchise, then I know the, the gist of it. But most of the movies, I never read the synopsis, never uh, never watch the trailer. Hmm. And it's more fun this way, because after I watch the movie, I go and watch the trailer, and I see how many, usually they reveal too much details about the plot, which would have ruined the movie. So this will be an interesting experience, given that it's the first time I do it for a game. Okay. Um, well, I know nothing about it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. This this is this camera doesn't pick up the light like my other one does, so we'll fix that next time. You got good light. Yours is all. Yours is like got the perfect sort of lighting right now. I'm in like this weird little shadow. Um, someone asked, well, uh, D Doge Four asked, will I ever sell autographs again? Yeah, I think so. It, it, it's um, uh, that's. A little bit yes i would do that we could figure out a way to put we should put that on there too daniel we should make a, a thing commissions and we have uh, shipping uh, options there available yeah yeah so let, yes the answer is yes and we will make that part of the um part of our on our store our commissions and such so all right i'm mm -hmm. gonna shift over to share the game, game. with me i'm gonna share the game with you i'm gonna turn the audio up hold on do do do. Okay, there's the game for Daniel, and here we share sound as well. I think yeah, I don't have the volume is at zero, so I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got it all. All is good. I'm just trying to prep it before they see it. I want them to see the game first. Let's go back. Oh no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> And the audio. Okay. Here we go, guys. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. There we go. Friends and neighbors. So, 
let's go back to the game. New game. I I just loaded this last night. It's a big old game. A lot of. Alright, this is what we want to do. I'll call this uh, CWC stream. I'm a little nervous, I gotta be honest. Story mode. You should be. Intern. Be broadcaster. This is the recommended one. Should we do broadcast? We're not. Yeah. If it was just me, I would. you guys know what I would do. I would probably be intern or story mode, but I, I don't, I got Daniel here, so. Is this what we're choosing? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, here we go. Can you guys hear okay? Yeah. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, you can hold down the space bar to apply a bleep and use the display above the bleep button to time things perfectly. Day one, the election. What? Space bar. This is how you start an FMV game. Take notes. Turn right. AWSD, or I can do this, right? Oh. Ha! Turn right. Okay. Answer call. How do I answer the call? Okay. So, so hi, David. I have that. a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Okay. Can I... I want to turn it back up a little, because I turned it down in my... Uh, how do, is there... Can I escape out of this, or what do I do to... Yeah, mm -hmm. click escape and you'll okay. have the settings. Excellent. Okay, audio. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. It's probably going to be too loud for you guys, so I'll turn it down on that. Let's see what that's like. And then retry from checkpoint? Resume. No, 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 no. Resume. Okay. And now I think I have to turn, turn left. This. Okay, I might have to turn this down a little bit. Okay. Hey. Right. Look up at the top. That colored bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio, and you can choose between them using the so numbered much trouble. buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it, and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. Okay. Look left. I'm looking left. I'm trying to hit the A button. There we go. No, why are you clicking with the mouse? control Click everything the in the keyboard. studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm nervous. Come oh, on. God. Here we go. All right, go. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. The chief, oh, chief. Right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. Under the desk? Look down. How do look I look down? down? S, S, S. S, S, S. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. One, two, three. What do I do? Lo load them in the Oh, I see. The All right. CR. Uh, and, uh, oh my god! <laughs> How do I go up? Up? Look up! All right. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer, and we're ready to go. Screen one. 
Point of mayonnaise. You don't see if you make it go out and pass. What's my signal now? Click one. Click one. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. It's going in five, four. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys <laughs> Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley yeah, to wins click sports too. personality yeah. of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. <laughs> and, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say. When the countdown ends, right. but two, three, two, one, net lovely mate. <laughs> Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. In the middle shrinks down and vanishes. What does in the middle? Then they uh, switch back to one. When? When the globe vanishes. Okay. Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Now. Lovely mate. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of action. Come on, move, move the slider. And Hurry up, mate. We're losing audience. Little knob or scroll wheel. ...defeat to advance his overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However... Former home secretary. Right, it's going well. <laughs> All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early. How do I do the advert? Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over okay. there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What this worry, is like OBS. <laughs> it totally <laughs> is. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. That's all right. He doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, now what? What happened? Wicked. Why are you looking it's away? The first break. You're doing great, safe. mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence, oh which is going to be cutting between multiple cameras <laughs> to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing Please the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot right for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Oh my god. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience wants to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. <laughs> Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead. Oh, his accent's right? amazing, yeah. I'm not a natural. I'm... We're coming back from wait. the break. Quiet in the studio. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> look at that, dude. Everybody. All right, so wait, we're going to start with her, five, right? Five, four, three. Welcome to the show. Later we'll be hearing from the Chocolate Winners advance. But first, we're ready to go to Megan on screen four. Okay. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. I did it. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. Switch to four. Right, just try and stay on whoever's talking. Latest 
movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. <laughs> I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan, this has been? I really meant that. That is fantastic. Oh, no. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this I movie screwed is up. quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story. One soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all of us. <laughs> a love, of course, for freedom. Love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, we'll see who's counting. <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. It's kind of fun. Although, those three so little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan. And not easy to answer. You're a natural, Paul. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Cut me, and I will be. <laughs> and often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't it? Feels. Bleeding, <laughs> giving, <laughs> suffering to one's audience. No, oh, no. I suppose I got... in the end I do it. Oh, it's not letting me do anything. I do it. I do it for the people. The little people. Okay. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. <laughs> and today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change. It looks like in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. This is news for Gen Z. You can't stay on one shot I've for more than 10 seconds. I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Screen, just let Megan you in. Switch, switch to a different scene. Switch to one. Uh, well, I won. I got one. Wait. What's happening? I got lost. What happened? Blunder Clash is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it oh, to the shoot. white bit uh, by dragging the right. Wait, I don't, I don't have a thing. Hold the left I don't know the Get the speed right. Right. Knowledge has been muscled. I was able to use the um, scroller you know, uh, for. We'll uh, do for now. Uh, Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time. Little joystick or hold alt to a middle mouse, and this time push upwards. Upwards, mate. Upwards. Ah, I'm using the wrong. Hold the hold the left alt. Left alt. What now? The virus. Wait, am I supposed it. to? I'm confused. Can I, can I pause? I'm gonna pause. Alright, I'm gonna pause. <laughs> I wish. I was, I was, I was stressed out. I'm not stressed. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm stressed out. Alright. Well, is there a way to. Um, so I was using my. Uh, little scrolly button to go up and down but there is nothing there's no i don't have a i don't have a fancy you, you should use the the alt uh, you should use the alt button like you said or the middle button if you want to click it the the middle button hold you know what hold the left alt on the keyboard and then try to move the joystick maybe that will do the trick you mean left of the the left of the spacebar 
Yep. So left alt. Yeah, uh, that's just all blackness. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So hold that and then do what? Um, and then move the joystick. Okay, and that will go side to side, or what will that do? Then when you go side to side, then it stretches it out, or or it stretches right. it. Down. I wish I could go back. How do I go back just a little bit? I don't. I don't know. Why we... go back? Well, Even right. if we messed up. All right. Okay. Now go back. All right. So I don't. It'd be a learning experience for okay. us. Okay. All right. The power of yet. I don't know how to do it yet. All right. Here we go. Look at you being optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> it's my job, and I'm like the least optimistic person in the world. I need it. It's work. It's for myself more than the kids. All right. Here we go. Uh, oh. I see. Maybe get some practice in. All right. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Oh, uh, wait. How do I get to the ad? Down, down low, right? The ad is on the right. Choose B. We chose oh. A. So choose. Right. No, not now. In five seconds. All right. On the right. On, on the right, right, choose B. Choose B, B when the time oh, okay. is over. Right. right. I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. Yeah. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds. Okay. The oh, this is great. Here. <laughs> this is so clever. Bleak button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleak button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. <laughs> it can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. <laughs> Simple. Of course, if you do it by it ear, is you OBS. Don't take your eye off the oh. screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Oh my God. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. Okay. As you turn it up, you'll Remain. hear the advert getting louder. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. One to four. Make one. Seriously, bad words. Bye. Four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are Peter about Clement to make their Julia acceptance Salisbury. address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh, oh shit, he's pissed. Get ready okay. to bleed. Well, well, uh, thank you all for coming. Okay. And, well, thank you all where for do coming. I start? And, well, what a where do day. I they said we what couldn't do it. Remember the tits. They knew every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick I had against us. For you. The people. You're only going to be in the wood. Right through there, Jack. I'm sorry about the language. Come on, come on, come on. I'm sorry about that. No. I'm sorry about that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, that's too much. <laughs> okay, okay. First of all, first of all, let's let's decide to take down the volume for the broadcast because when we hear a swear word, we'll hear it in the in the live stream. And then we'll have two seconds to to censor it in the broadcast itself. And besides, you can when he swears in the live stream. <laughs> then you can take a look at the waveform over there on the left. And yeah, I saw we that. The red part. So I. So whenever we reach the red part, click the sensor button. Click or, or on the red the space part. Bar. Okay. All right. Because I can't. I want to turn. I want to. I wasn't able to hear him very well. So let me. How well, do I? You should turn down the the volume for the broadcast. This is exactly what we do in OBS. I all know time. it totally With is. Yeah. Echo. Yeah, 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 it totally is. Next um, live stream, I'm dropping f bombs, and you'll need to okay. censor me. Okay. So. Time. Oh, I wish I could. Okay, so wait a minute. So first thing, I'm going to resume, and then I want to re turn this up. Turn down the volume for no. Turn down the volume for the broadcast. Then we'll listen only to the live stream. Oh, good, good, good. And okay. then we'll censor accordingly. Okay. Come on, course of them, the grin is funny. Oh, ah, ah, no, totally let's be honest. Who can blame Peter for celebrating? Oh. <laughs> Advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. 
When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitty pants on and opening their go on, go on, go on. Again, do it. Again, it. But not inaccurate. <laughs> no, you need to hold Before it. I know, OK, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm still learning. We used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the the space bar, maybe it's easier. You know this. Maybe. Sort of probably you're oh, yeah. you know. Because the likes of you and me are ah! welcome in their gated communities. <laughs> Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So, all you bastard public school students have got I did. nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits <laughs> said we'd have to raise billions. <laughs> But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute We're getting better. shite. Come on, come on, so come on. You Get ready. Huh? I got it, I got it, I got it now. Oh, oh, I did, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. I messed it up. <laughs> time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say right. to you. Perfect. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends. She's today. gonna she's gonna piss. We will she's gonna curse at some point. Back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes. It ends today. And tomorrow we'll start making it fair again. <laughs> Just nice like we promised we would. And until then, ladies Ooh, and gentlemen. I suggest we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Go on, go on. Thank you for your time. <laughs> uh, well. well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. <laughs> and our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. <laughs> if not, someone's going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National uh, what do I do? News. What do I do? We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful Get ready with uh, the ads. And we're Where's out. the ads? Good job, everybody. Yeah. Big the ads. Big seat. Right. Looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Oh, Very no. about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. dying <laughs> now. All right. I got to take a break. That's just too... That's intense. I wish I could just hand it over to you. We could take turns doing this. Like, back in the old days when you sit on a couch with someone and you just... Hand over the the. Oh, the next live stream. If we keep playing this game, if people like us uh, playing this game, then they. Can you? Can I give then... you the? Um, can I give you the controls, or is it too going to be too laggy? You know what? Let, let's try. Give that me the would, controls. That would be fun. Let's see what see what Daniel does here. I can see you're just chomping at the bit. I'm ready. This ready. is really, really. Uh, how, what do you think so far of this? Man, it's super fun. It's super I wasn't fun. expecting this, but but you know it's very it's very interesting that nowadays uh, people don't like to do their job, but they like to play simulators <laughs> of people <laughs> doing their job. And you know what? That was the beginning with uh, Phantasmagoria too. All that work in the in the office and all those. It's so funny that people yeah. spent so much time doing that. It was ahead of its time. All right, I'm gonna auto accept all requests. Give right. mouse keyboard okay. control to. I'm giving. Oh, Let, let's go. see. All right. Do I have control? Let's you see. Control. There you go. Let's okay. see if I... I'll see you tomorrow night. Not going for a drink. Okay, Date. That's pretty... Lucky you. Okay. Try not to get I have murdered. control. Broadcast, Broadcast complete. complete. That's it. Well done. Ch challenge room unlocked. We did it. All right. So I got the first one. Finished. Remember, 
the broadcast away. We gotta see. Gotta see Paul. Yeah. Sucks. Continue. I don't want. I don't, I want less info. Broadcast poor. to like us. All right, mate. Welcome to the archive. This is where you can have a hey, quick right, look at what you've done and how it looked to the public. There's three sections. Broadcast, rushes, and adverts. Take Let's it easy, Ahmad. Thanks for coming, buddy. Click on it now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind and the fast forward at the bottom there to help you get to the bit you want to see. In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. <laughs> so we get to see our. Let's, see the, that, let's take a look at what's <laughs> going the on mess. later on tonight. I did okay for a while. Some of it was at good. Seven o'clock. It's the semi-final of the quotation game, and it's a nail-biting quiz tonight as a team of nuclear physicists take on four old ladies from East Grinching. <laughs> That's followed at eight p.m. by award-winning documentary series. <laughs> four the old ladies. Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the great blackouts of 1871. Not one to miss. Oh At 9 my PM, God. sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie, The Freedom of Being Colin, taking us all the way up to 11.15, where, as usual, Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be grilling his guests in Incisors, and tonight sees a return for leading economist Katie Brightman. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Weather Report, before we say good night until tomorrow. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson for the National Nightly News. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. So far, so Our good. Our stories tonight. Lynn Cut. Moving on up, the election win that experts said just couldn't happen. Hopeful or hostile? Controversy as global mega corporation Remington. You know, what's funny is that I, I'm hearing it for the first time. I didn't understand. I wasn't corners the flag listening market. to them at all. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsleeves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The, the Medicated. And, of course, yeah, we'll be going good. live to advance headquarters <laughs> to hear what the leaders that's of this special party have to say on their historic victory. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. This is so... Hilarious. All right, so far, got it all down. Let's see how 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 quick you switch to the anchor after the globe disappears. Go. Oh. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. The landslide victory, with an astonishing 81% of the popular vote, is the biggest election win in living memory. Advance appealed to voters up and down the country with their bold promises of permanent change. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming like watching a replay that have yet to appear in publicly. sports event. However, Former Home well, Secretary is, yeah. Jeffrey Jeffers yeah. has issued a statement in which he comments that we have all been seduced by the shiny wrapping paper but have yet to see the contents of the box. Sounds like sour grapes to me, Jeff. <laughs> After the break, Megan Wolf will be speaking to a man whose grapes certainly aren't sour, the international heartthrob and inexplicable <laughs> well sensation that is Lawrence Blunderclatch. Blunder and later Clatch. in the program, we'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. That's all coming up. Now for the break. Oh, well, little break. That was a little. Where can you get warm, sandy beaches? Wait, oh yeah, you were able to do that. What? Yeah. There's some funny stuff Only in here, probably. Only 85 minutes from the coast, and with more than two areas of outstanding natural interest. Isn't it time your family went Bumley way? And hey, if you come in the dry season, we've got a car park. St. Bumley. 
on the tank. Naturally. I mean, they use Comic Sense as the font for this commercial. Yeah. That's right. Uh oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the National Monthly <laughs> News. Later, we'll be hearing his from look, Chuck like he's like, why are you... But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shopbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. Bless you. <laughs> so you've just finished filming <laughs> your latest bad. movie, Pretty good. which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? <laughs> well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap, he really is. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. <laughs> and do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge <laughs> slow, at slow. All? What exactly are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role <laughs> when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story one soldier's fight for a love of <laughs> a love of for course, luck for freedom i think it's grossed over a billion dollars but uh, obviously who's counting it's a role that saw you scoop two best actor awards if i remember correctly it's so sweet of you to mention it but i really am not in it for the awards although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece uh, with all the others i'm sure so if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. <laughs> like you. Good, good cut, nice. I'm afraid. I don't know, Daniel, you've got a lot to live up to here. And this is pretty I will good. bleed, and often. And don't forget that I have the feels. zoom delay as Doesn't well. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Bleeding. How much of a delay is it? Giving. I don't know. I want to see the, the, the other press conference. Because this is just too good. Yeah, it's perfect. You've done a... Oh, it's got a lot to load of this. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a great FMV game. It does. The that... <laughs> you think I don't know that? Oh, this is the interference you couldn't handle. Oh, yeah. What a mess. Dr. Lance to you, Miss Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. We're gonna change the world, do you remember? But when I listened to you. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. No, I don't need know. to see this. No, it's all too late. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, you the Brits, they're very funny. The medicated. The medicated, the medicated. The medicate. Celebrate the classic age of salad with this exquisite limited edition collection. My Salad Weekly. Sign up now and every week we'll send you an authentic, ethically sourced ingredient to add to your salad. Build your collection week by week, and very soon you'll have a salad that really gets the lunchroom talking. From tomatoes and right, oils to leafy greens let's get and... A, let's 
watch my oh, brilliant Jessica. editing of the sensors. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Memorably put. Oh, but to be honest, oh. who can blame Peter for yeah. celebrating? What happened? The big zoom delay. Just <laughs> I can hear the okay. beeping oh. from here. Available for a limited time. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Yeah. And I'm told we can now go live to advanced headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, <laughs> are about to make their acceptance address. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. <laughs> OK, well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. <laughs> they used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick <laughs> they had against us. But you, <laughs> the people, you saw right through their shite. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than a grown is funny. <laughs> Memorably put. <laughs> you were censoring the verbs. But to be honest, who None can blame Peter for words. celebrating? I didn't know where the to buttons were. You say the advance are not a political party. A party is when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit <laughs> pants on and opening their dusty <laughs> checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but You not censored inaccurate. everything except the curse word. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. I'm going to do good Tomorrow, this time, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system <laughs> in this country. For too long. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, Unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you public <laughs> school yeah, snobs boom. have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? <laughs> That's fine. But first, you're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals this into part. a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. <laughs> the pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute fair. <laughs> so to you posh twat. <laughs> who pay you a pittance got, to certain the drinks in their private clubs. The, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even <laughs> richer. Yeah. And I have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back <laughs> where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends Today. You should have been yes. an editor, Paul. It ends today. And tomorrow, yes, I'm gonna pause we'll it for a second. start making uh, it fair again. You know, it, it's, it, it once, I think that, A, your tendency to want to do it right, you know, that's what the, the game is asking of you. But as I'm watching what I make mistakes, I'm finding it really intriguing to be watching people's... Um, responses when someone else is talking like if i left it too long on the other person while the uh, per i think there's some real value in that too just in terms of uh yeah i could see how this game could be played over and over again in terms of like how fun you want to you know you could do the opposite of a good broadcast on purpose you know you could screw it up on purpose and make it really really funny mm -hmm. I mean, I Let's won't have any ratings to zero. I won't have any any trouble uh, screwing up, screwing up. Okay, do you still have the control? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Again, just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, <laughs> I suggest we all get. Nice. I can't argue with that. 
thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance, and our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for a new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage. The country of the first braces day itself for a new government. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. You know. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Same again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Crazy Neil, Crazy Pre-Christmas Sofa. Okay, so so another thing that's happening. Keep your day job, Paul. So another thing that's happening is, you know, you're focused on the task. So as a result, your brain really can't accept all of the the input that's coming in. Mm -hmm. And then then you watch it, and then you are watching sort of for your edits, and you're hearing more. But I'm just starting to realize that there's a real story being told. They're talking about a new government. There's there's things happening in the world of this this game that are just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we're going to be learning about. Uh, yeah, so it's interesting that when you focus on the task itself, um, you don't focus on anything else. So this all. is brand new information. Yeah, exactly. You, you're seeing it a second time, but you're really hearing it for the first time. That's fascinating. A chat deal. Damn. It's a steal. We're crazy deal. We don't care if you've been. No, I think I think we're done. We saw the commercial. Yeah. I'm two people. Two people donated, and we don't have the uh, overlays oh, why not? turned on because we had them turned off for the Ross Scott interview. Oh. I just turned them on. Sorry for that, guys. I'm going to read the two of them. Uh, Schwex donate five dollars to kickstart the stream again, and MDQP donate five dollars. I like Paul's fast and loose approach to camera cuts and censoring dead air. Nice. I thanks. would tune in re religiously if the news was actually like this. <laughs> I should edit the news. Right, I'll do that. Yeah. Right. Click on rushes and let's have a look at those. Rushes. Right. This is the rushes room. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see. They're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio during the actual broadcast. The difference is you can mute any combination of them so you can have a listen to the stuff you weren't allowed to show. Select Ooh. the broadcast and give it a go. And when you're done listening to the backstage secrets, hit back. I get the... Oh, I need to just... Okay. Yeah, let's do headlines. I oh, didn't see that. The guy's got some stuff going on. Wow, got that. Corn and mayonnaise. You know, see if it makes me go out and posture. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. <laughs> That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist, going in five, four. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main because you can tonight. skip through Moving that. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm the election win that experts said you... just couldn't happen. No, it's maybe. It's hostile. Controversy as global mega corporation ripped... You want to see the, the Blunder Clutch interview? Yeah, but shouldn't you be able to fast forward through the stuff that we've heard and seen already? I... No, but the thing is that during your edits, you switch between cameras. And in the interview, we had several cameras. So maybe we can These hear... aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I oh, know. I think they think you won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> it's not an... Absolute bonehead. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agreed to do one beastly interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. <laughs> Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. <laughs> You're on thin, <laughs> bloody ice, Rob. Whole wheat, man. Whole wheat. <laughs> We're coming back from the break. <laughs> Quiet in the studio. <laughs> All this before. Oh, thank you so much. For... Ten seconds, everybody. Oh. Going in five, four, three. <laughs> oh my God. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf 
is here at the start of both stage and screen. Yeah. But you can also, if you wanted to, you can really now see and watch other people's responses during that. Because I'm, ba I'm bouncing it back and it's forth. It's funny. It's funny to see how much we didn't notice in the first watch because we were too busy doing. Apparently, he's been job. drinking since lunchtime. Christ, he's a liability in the best of times. I know. God help whoever has to bleep this. Ten seconds, everybody. <laughs> and a lawyer and a TV personality running the country. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, <laughs> three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders. Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury are about to make their acceptance address. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And well, where do I start? What a day! They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used Wait, every dirty, low-down, lying, southern Ooh. bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people. You saw right through their shite. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me Why can't they meet everything? Okay. <laughs> this is good. Team spirit for It's funny that they really was, it, that could have been a really great moment where they could have been talking all through this. Oh, well, they're what? Just watching it horrifying. They're not saying oh, a little bit. Oh. Another. Stopping people moving. That is outrageous. Whoever and whatever they are. They can't be up. <coughs> okay. I think maybe we should uh, let's see it. what else we yeah. We have the uh, Oh, and these are the ads, basically. Um, so yeah, it looks like this this new political party has taken over, and it's a very right wing. They're they're taking revoking passports. They're uh, uh, what's this? Are we back? We got a new We're one. Back. You arrive home to find post on the map. Most being nothing more than the usual junk mail. One letter ever catches your eye. The team wants to know you. Your eyes gets a better view and you open it. Current wealth, the broke ass for. Okay. It's a form from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is already filled in. Your name, Alex Winston. Your spouse, Sam Winston. Your children, Charles Winston and Susie Winston. I love it. Alex and Sam are both names that could be men or women. Well, your views at least are that. The rest of the questions are left for you. Now, now we've got choices. Upon starting a new job, you would. I'm going to turn. Can we turn this down? I'll turn it down. That's fine. Um, turn it down. 
Is it too loud for you guys? Audio. 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 Just a little bit. Seems like the. Is there a way to. Oh, the music. We can do the audio, like right here. The music's just a little too darn loud. Let's bring that down. Everything else seems pretty good. Nothing wrong okay. with you, music. You're really good. But. Oh, wait. Back. Back. Resume. That's still too loud. Let's see. Right One more time. Back. Resume. All right, we got it. Go for it. Okay, so we're going to be friendly and introduce yourself to your new co workers. You no. Can to, and get to work immediately. No. Ease yourself in and orientate yourself with your new workplace. Reminisce no. with friends about old jobs. No. <laughs> you got to do something. No, actually, the second one. All right. Question two, a colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Now, a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would help your colleague cover up their violation, recommend that your colleague reports it, promise your colleague that you won't tell anyone. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. Report the violation to your supervisor immediately. Whether well, you want to choose, I would well, choose we, the fourth one. Do we do what we want them to do? Yeah, let's do. I guess we should play this as though we're playing it. Let's not be smart. Yeah, let's play it. An entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. You would leave work on time. Is it already starting? Does it start with the a, a choice that they want us to do? No. Okay. It's where I point okay. the cursor. Stay late to ensure you hit the first deadline. Leave work early and head to the pub. Leave work early and head home to see your family. So stay late, of course. Question I would four. actually do that. You would? Oh, Daniel. It's the annual... I would be. I leave my work on time when I can. It's annual company barbecue, and you and your family have been invited. You are looking forward to enjoying a nice day. I think it does start with the, the one that they want us to No, say. it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm pointing the mouse yeah. cursor at that. Right. Okay, let's do the top one. It's Yano, and you and your family have been invited. You are looking for washing your hair. Go. Okay. Fine. You've had a long, successful career and now about to retire. In your speech, you missed your achievements and all the good. Refuse to attend. I would refuse to attend. <laughs> You're going to get us in trouble. In your spare time, you like to relax alone, doing things like listening to music, attend political rallies, encourage and support your children with their hobbies, play in your local sports team. Two. Question seven, your ideal holiday getaway would be going to Dubai, surrounded by natural beauty, getting away from the strain of the daily grind, exploring somewhere unfamiliar and discovering new experiences and challenges. I don't know, Daniel, there's no hanging out and watching. There's the nothing about there's, coding. There's, so <laughs> There's no Phantasmagoria streams. A structured day out at a theme park, bursting with thrills, a romantic getaway with your partner. You kind of just did that. Maybe that's what you want. So. It is most important that the government keeps people safe, free, happy, equal. Ooh. I don't know. That might. Um, what is our. What are they? Either want? free or equal. Let's choose equal. All right. Thank you for your cooperation. Advance knows your times. Okay, we're in trouble. Oh snap! That's gonna come back to bite us. Yeah, you're, Daniel's up. Here we go. Oh, it's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying up a favorite cup of drying up a favorite cup of coffee. What is drying up? A worn out souvenir of your first trip together. Knocking oh, okay. the window brings you back to reality. There in the garden, clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase, is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let them in. 
They sit at the kitchen table, visibly stressed. Chris takes a deep breath. Oh, wow. It's not, I'm surprised we're not getting the, I'm so sorry for bursting in so late, Alex, Chris stammers, but I need a favor. You're the only one I can ask. This is weird that there's no, uh, there's, that there's no FMV here, right? No, no need to worry, Sam. It's you I came to see. I just need two minutes. You've heard about the Assets and Wealth Act? No, we haven't. Chris's face is screwed up tight now. They're taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money, Chris Hay, but they can't afford it. People like me are going to lose everything, and that's why I'm here. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like this? Either one. Chris Simon seems to be resting comfortably on the floor tiles. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to borrow your passport. Passport? What for? <coughs> They've taken mine in half the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look similar, so Chris is pacing now. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, but I need to go now before they freeze my accounts. Please, Alex, wouldn't ask if I had any other choice. Ugh. Don't mm. give your passport, no way. Chris and Alex, yeah, let him rot. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you and Sam. I've treated your children like they were my own. We're family. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Boom. Fine. I'll solve this myself. So much for family loyalty, huh? Grabbing the nigh on fluorescent suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. The peeling face now seems to bore into you. The knot in your stomach tightens. Okay. All right, the loading tip guy is off today, so there isn't one. Daniel's up. Let's do this. You want to go to the right? Now you're the heat master. <laughs> He's awesome. Let's get set up and get on with it, so I can get back to my guests. First of all, let's get the power on. You need to get at least the bottom four plugs on. <laughs> right, let's load up the adverts. You might want to have a bit of a think about it. Your decisions have consequences, oh. don't they? Oh, 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 think it. Look it over. Wait, wait, wait. You're just. There's, there's, let's go back and look at the top. Should uh, we play this? Is this safe? Is this safe? Is this toy safe? Is this toy safe. Yeah, we should play it. All right, but you're not, look, look at the front. They say something to us. Look at, like, open, they went right there. Mail. Festive Yuletide Ornament Spectacular. Okay. But. Yeah, that's boring. Let's see what's. An elegant new an skin, elegant cream, new with skin cream, cream with a with porky. With a porky. <laughs> so these adverts have some kind of. I think this is a, here's my thinking, Daniel. I think that we can snuggle, smuggle messages to the public against this new regime um, so that we can ultimately, like the way we do these adverts are going to tell a subliminal story, I think. I don't think we know enough Wait, about I, it yet. Can I take this? Man. Posted yeah. notes, nah. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, yeah, let's see. Advanced go getters, Mr. Snuggle Hugs, Judico and Crazy. This, this is the problematic toy. Let's uh, let's use the ad and start some. Okay. Right, you can see they finally got the old headline system up and working again. And the vision mix is already in headline mode because headlines always come at a star. By the way, look at these, uh, these uh, credits here. Um, Dame Trudy Waters, Jonathan Spleef, Tart Wright, Abernathy. All of these, there's some, I've been watching them. There's very, they're very funny. Uh, they're very funny things. I'll move on here. Here you go. About your back. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons Water the of the vision mixer, you can see they now have A and B on them. And they're to help you pick image A on the left bottom screen here or image B on the right bottom screen. Yeah, it's 
really simple. This little clock here will count down the number of seconds you have to make your decision. Provided you make a decision in that time, you're fine. And you can change your mind as much as you want until the clock reaches zero. But if you don't make any decision, you'll be fired before you even get to make another choice. I just want to say one more thing, mate. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them, and that's going to affect their lives. So like with the adverts, choose carefully. No, and we're off. Good luck, like, mate. Before we get time, I'll we'll call you back in the next break. Yeah, I'm coming, darling. My friend Janet says theirs gets really hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Not the best source of consumer advice, then. Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, three. <laughs> go, Daniel, Good go. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this chart. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guess whether Advance can deliver on even a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old, Remington's fist have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young fireman who, at the tender age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Sophia Remington's appointment is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child and has been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. Sophia promises it'll be all the rage this Wait, Christmas, but concerns the, have been raised about the product safety, making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford have today set off to explore <laughs> Borg and Borg and the recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. Many were surprised that the two scientists, <laughs> who shared a fractious rivalry for many years, decided to undertake this expedition in each other's company. However, so everything, I'm gonna stop for a second. Everything you've chosen so far, or the two that you've chosen, or three, have all shown people in a bad light and mm -hmm. yet he everything he has said has supported that choice i imagine you could still have given them the better look well, you know you can talk about the rivalry between two people but when you show them with this image then you see that the rivalry is still there yeah well if you would have chosen the other one it looks I like i think he says the same thing but they yeah. you know, the, the like he says, the audience perceives them differently. Right. Because so, they released a joint statement in which they opine geniuses don't have to like each other to achieve remarkable results. <laughs> Playing the field, rumors about the sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is not leaving Bush, one of the capital's <laughs> hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports These Personality of the choices. Year last week, as reported by this very program. <laughs> And judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly wouldn't want Wait, to be his dry cleaner. Hold on. What if you chose the other one? Does the does the game immediately give you a different... Would he have said the same thing no matter what? Was there something in that it's other It's interesting photo? because here he talked about the spray, and I'm not sure that he would have said the same thing. Well, he was with a he... woman, but maybe we didn't see what was all in there. Was he? Did he have like a... Maybe he had like some... I don't know. That's interesting. I wonder if he's saying the same thing, but but we just get a different per, uh, perspective of it. And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. With more and more people saying they're scared to walk the streets alone at night, could this be exactly the right time for advance's new approach? All that, a mega move oh, for the young actors who are already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Quickly, please. We actually had to make the book industry.
<laughs> oh, I have a problem with uh what's its face? <laughs> Don't laugh, it's because of the delay. Alright, I'll do it. Let, let me, uh, um, yeah, you're behind. Um, so this is this is great because if you show he says people are afraid to walk outside at night. And there's two options. One, a bunch of a couple of thugs sort of like so it's where you're in that case you're peddling fear of the public and 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 mm -hmm. you know unruly uh, pedestrians the other one was a police line of you know uh, policemen and, and you know gear and mm -hmm. so if you chose that then you're saying people are afraid of the police state that this has become so we need to decide are we trying to uh, overthrow this new government that is taking over, or are we trying to peddle their fictitious sort of ways? You know what I mean? Yeah, let's overthrow the government. That's okay. a better idea. So I think that what we want to do is anytime we can make the these people look bad, the better, because that way the the public will see that this is a government that we don't want to have in in charge well in the first image i chose the politicians in a bad light i think those were politicians yeah the scientists were not related to the government they were talking about the, a toy but yeah with uh with the police we should have chosen the first one this is good i mean this get this is really as yes, you're just learning it you're having fun with the the broadcast you're trying to do what is expected of you but but there's real um yeah it's really cool so do you want me to wait what do i do it again i do uh alt hold hold the alt and then move the joystick okay uh oh broadcast failed you let too much interference out and the audience switched off quit to main menu no, return. not return yeah. So next time we have interference, take over. Okay. Can we just go to? Do we have to do it from the beginning? Don't make any decision. You'll be fired before you even get to make another choice. I just want to say one more thing, mate. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them, and that's going to affect their lives. So, like with the adverts, choose carefully. And we're off. Good luck, mate. If I get to work, I'll pull you back in the next break. You yeah, yeah, I'm coming, darling. My friend Janet says theirs gets really hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Not the best source of consumer advice, then. Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, three. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Dawson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether Advance can deliver on even a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old, Remington Fist have appointed Sophia yeah, Remington right the as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young We're overthrowing man everything. at the tender age of 23. Companies, becomes government. the youngest yeah, right. female CEO in history. Sophia Remington's appointment is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child and has been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehut. Sophia promises it will be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford have today set off to explore the dangerous taint. The recently discovered cave system 
was previously thought unreachable. But thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flood technology, Flawed the pair technology. hope to successfully reach the imposing central cabin. I think this is a good thing. You probably want the three. Contains. Many were surprised that the two scientists, who shared a fractious rivalry for many years, decided to undertake this expedition in each other's company. However, the two have released a joint statement in which they opine geniuses don't have to like each other to achieve remarkable results. Geniuses. Playing the field, rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is snapped leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year. Ahmed wrote in the chat that uh, there are different game. responses according to what you choose. And judging from uh, the angle well. and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny well. may have been celebrating a little bit too much. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to be his dry cleaner. And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country. To talk with people That's crazy seen how fast it makes that choice, you know, this is so cool. With more and more powers passing to the police, and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced-shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega move for a group of young actors who are Get ready for the interference the segment, oh, yeah. assets and wealth okay. act, acting and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Come on, I'm doing it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, go, I can't go. Oh, I see. All right, I did again. All right. All right, you're up. In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised, but what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Advance have realised that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. <laughs> grand plan, Alan? <laughs> it's all in my book. Alan James is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great herd. Oh, Jesus is right. Short lived. That's what they want. <laughs> or perhaps Advance have just realized that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced. <laughs> he took his book. The last great war. <laughs> yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't. And this I... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. Go We're too. talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking out of the wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great Great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! But what this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. <laughs> Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilise, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic paedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Frankenstein's and Opie Arts. <laughs> like opiates, see? 
Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals. They're pumping it full of belief juice. Don't get me wrong. I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power oh after spending God. half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomised into submission. No, of course. <laughs> Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Meghan meets some beneficiaries of the show, Assets and Wealth Act. Show her. That's all coming up tonight. No, I need to show that. Oh. Uh, one minute back. You know, I think they might do some good. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much are you being paid by them then? Shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see who's full of shit, won't we? Alan, I can explain it to you, but unfortunately, I can't understand it for you. <laughs> well, I don't know what she meant by that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, shit, you will. She's good. You know she is. I've said a bit of word in. That's all I can do. Ten seconds, everybody. Is Widow J.G. scared of the big bad country with water? If that sticks, I'll destroy you. Four, Man, that, that three. toy is going to explode or something. What was Did we watch our commercial? Back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking we a just deep played dive it. into the state uh, Did we watch it, though? I was busy looking at everything else. Advance of a week. Let's stop for a second. So one thing I did... You told me uh, I, I I looked at like a setup, like we can have you know the uh, <clears throat> briefly looked at like a little setup for the game so that I could use all the good things. And one thing it said was make sure to look, don't just look at the cameras. That there's other things to explore. So we should make sure we look left and right occasionally. It'll go down. There's, there's stuff that we should be looking at above and beyond just you know, all the, the stuff in front of us. Sounds like there's a lot. This is... This is fun. This is really good. I mean, this is... If it, if it wasn't reality for some of us. I know. Well, for most of us, I think, at this point. But but this is so, so well done. I, I need to know <laughs> how this got Let's made. Let's interview and, everyone. Oh, everyone, for sure. This These guys are... Wow. I mean, this is so confidently produced so well written so many layers of, of gameplay of of actual meaning and and uh um satire oh man it's i'm 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 impressed and you can and you can basically replay it to death because you have so many options ah yeah you could if you are someone who really liked to dive into all and it talks about and there's different levels that we can play at too it's like man you could spend a long time with this game this is super cool thank you we have for... interference issues so uh, once we resume take care of them okay and then um yeah we're getting about 10 minutes of the hour i need to probably take a break in just a second and then we will finish up in a little bit so um let's go uh okay Toss what they are you take control solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list tonight we go behind the headlines to oh. meet the people who ah. live with the criminal justice ah. system every day of their lives. Oh, 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 you can move the other, the slider, move the slider. A lawyer who sees the slider, the slider, the slider, the slider. It's nothing's going. Can you hear me, though? The slider, leave the, the left yeah. off and move the slider. Oh, uh, it won't, it won't go, it wouldn't go up. I, I was, I was scrolling, but it wouldn't go up. Um, no, you shouldn't scroll, you should use the cursor. Let's see. Oh, that's the, the, the... Uh, how far oh, back wait. do we have to go? We have to do the whole thing again? I hope not. I hope we got a checklist after checkpoint. Oh, man. Really? Oh, no, we have the, the ad. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. 
I don't care, I hate the fucking news. Oh, bloody hell, I love this tune, though. All right, mate, see you later, bye! Okay, take a look at the slider over here. This is what you should move. Oh, I thought I could do that with my cursor. Set up a word, and that's all I can do. Use it with your, move it with your cursor, not the mouse wheel. All right. If that sticks, I'll destroy you. Four, three. Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advance have already tasked what they are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to make the people who live with the criminal justice later. system yeah. every day of their lives. First up, you're a natural ball. Okay, we're good. A lawyer who sees the problem is close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. <laughs> What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Uh, well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough oh, oh, oh. being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. We need more support from ministers. We what are you doing? We need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Where are you going, darling? No, it's it. I'll be at my mother's. Oh, no. Just hang uh, on. Uh, where is it? No, the, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. Oh, jeez. Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Well, it, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need, uh, we need legislation <laughs> to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry to interrupt the news, we'll Make Donaldson. a great Can team, I Paul. have a moment mm -hmm. to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes. Uh, you got to do one. understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? Oh, I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community. Interference. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. Ah. Without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Or So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. Um, I'm handling the stream and you're handling the... I lost touch with what it means oh. to be a citizen of this once great ah. country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have oh found hanging. Sorry. And um, to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies, main. So, so, there's a part of me that would love to cut to the couple arguing you know because it would just be very funny to see that when we finally go back to watch what we mm -hmm. just did so i you know when you make those mistakes accidentally they really are hilarious and uh, i wonder if it's worth it to when you get a chance um to uh to, to do that on purpose um running it it zen solves us yes this is just like running obs it totally daniel said it earlier it is absolutely this feels so so familiar uh in terms of controls and all that oh that's hilarious um maybe we should add a buzzer you know a lot of times tbh i need i either need to write the uh, you in the zoom yeah. chat or um make sure uh, to get your attention in the um, in the live <laughs> chat in case i'm not in the live stream that there's an issue totally so maybe i should have a buzzer oh i think it's great i like to imagine paul's PC works exactly like this because some days it felt like it. LOL. Yeah. Oh, new, new donation from Zwex. Thanks, bud. Did he have a comment with it? Perfectly timed. Ah, uh, fun. Let's see. Forward. Oh, I want to see what this is all about because it's so it's impossible to keep. His comment up. is buzz. <laughs> it, it, it's a, it's so great because. It, we're so busy trying to stick with the static and get you know just doing everything in order that we're not listening to anything and so we have no mm -hmm. idea what and then we're going to watch it and we're going to be it's just, this is just awesome all right should we keep going uh and yeah. then yeah we should probably do we have we're not going to do it looks like we're not going to be doing a 
Wheel of Curtis today. Um, all right. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna have one on Friday for our Patreon members and one for the goal okay. on Friday. Sounds good. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that. Oh, <laughs> bugger! Hang on a moment, Jeremy. Your bloody gimp's escaped. <laughs> Delia, Delia, could you give me a little help? <laughs> And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants oh, who are responsible God. for the moral decay? Absolutely. Immigrants are responsible for the moral decay. Back in your box, Delia. I really could use a little help with this. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling. I'm staying the batches. Okay, I'm talking on? to Jeremy Dawson. Clive, could you put him back? Oh my God! Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Can't you Doing this. All right, little Phantasmagoria too. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal. No one else. Oh, this is... Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when you gotta look at his... Do a, do a reaction to... Reaction shot from... No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Okay. Bob, Bob Hill there. We're locking down the police's position on morality for us. And finally tonight, hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swamp. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else does. Titwank. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank, Tony. <laughs> Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing Oh, I should do it, Daniel. You're behind. A bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying you're, to get back to that delayed. party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate titwank, you in any way, Tony? Tony? Tit -wank -tony. Tony. <laughs> I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. It's open! I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris. Little Chris. And vampire Chris. <laughs> One sec, love. Titwank Tony's on the news. Come on. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. <laughs> so, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this <laughs> so You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. <laughs> you gotta see it. Dad, Dad, go, go, go. Oh. Now, fellas, I'm on the news. You gotta see all the dudes. Go to four. It seems like we've caught you at a bad time. I've got to hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, <laughs> seem to be losing the signal no there, Tony. fucking way, last <laughs> believe that. Well, we're just trying to get go that back, signal go. back. I think we... <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to go back to four. <laughs> <laughs> How has this happened, Tony? Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. Oh, After the break, Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. <laughs> After these messages. <laughs> I ain't got long and I'm quite drunk. It's been a great night. In this next section, there's a bit of music. If you edit in time with the music, you can see the result on the vision mixer and the public will love that. Don't worry if you don't know, you won't get punished for it or nothing. Just try and stay in the groove. Also, one last tip, when the music starts, turn down the broadcast volume. Right, enjoy the music bit. God, I love music. God, I'm so pissed. I think I might go and throw up in a bit. <laughs> All right, I think we got to stop. Um, this is awesome. 
I love this game. Are you guys loving this game? Is, is how many of you have played this game before? I want to know. Um, and how many? Yeah, hands up if you've played this game before, and I guess uh, thumbs down or something if you've never played it before. I'm very interested to see what you guys uh, what you got. Oh, it looks like my messages are. I'm not seeing them come in. Oh, there we go. It's like watching Channel Four UK circa 1995. Yeah, this is this is really wonderful. Um, <laughs> we have a legit reason to say tit wink on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Are you, you, were you are you surprised by this, Daniel? What is what was your what do you think you were getting? I'm pleasantly into? surprised by this. Yeah, me too. This is this is something else. Yeah, you know, all the FMV games are coming out of the UK, right? Contradiction, this, uh, Sam Barlow stuff. Um, what was the other one? There was another one recently that, oh, um, um, that, what's that, what's the company that makes like the detective one? Um, the shape shifting detective? Yeah, yeah. They, the Vanky are... Studios? Yeah, Tavecchi, Diavecchi Studios. Tavec, yeah. Man, they're just, I mean, this is, this is a total renaissance coming out of that. Man, they're, they're, they've set the bar. This is fantastic. All right, I'm going to shift over. Oh, it's, we have to save. How do we save? Well, uh, let's let, let's wait until the end of the ad. I think that currently the, the ad has started, and this is our new checkpoint. But let's stay until the, the end of the ad. Okay. Looks right. I've got this. I'm sure he's on his way. Come on, it's welcome back. How hard can it be? This is on you. Ten seconds, everybody. We're going to open on Megan, camera two, going in five, four, I like that. That's great. They three. tell us what to do. Welcomes Black. I'm Megan Wolf, And on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first... <laughs> Wait, I, want to, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, we? And welfact, okay. A team Let of inspiring escape. young... Okay. I think we reached our checkpoint. Then we can okay. quit to main menu. You will lose yes. all unsaved progress. Are you sure you want to quit? We're okay. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. Um. All right. I am going to move over to us. Oh, that was a blast, you guys. That was really, really fun. Um. Okay. We'll be back. Oh. Am I here? Okay. We'll be back on Friday with uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Get back to that. I'm looking forward. It's been a while. We have to we have to remind me of all the stuff. But yeah, that's that's that was a fun, fun stream. Um Yeah, some people have played it. Magic Herring said he played it. He'll love it. And he loves this. I've never played it, Yellow Butterfly. Uh 10 out of 10, says Joe Taco. It does. It is just a Jet Talk is one of the funniest games I've played so far. Night Shift is UK too. Night Shift, I've heard of that. The bar mm -hmm. was for me set by Immortality and set extremely high. I haven't finished Immortality. Wait, Immortality is the newest one, right? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 that's I'm not on, sure we'll be able to stream it. Yeah, that one's on... Uh, it's actually on Netflix, I think. You can actually play it on Netflix. Yeah. Hey, Jwex, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Shrek's donated twenty dollars. Great stream, great game. Glad to see you guys ba are yep, back. I just, I just, yeah, the the video, the voice showed up. Um, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I got nothing else. I got nothing else to say. I'm just gonna get out of here. All right. Let me see if I can get to an outro. All right. Bye. <sighs> that was awesome.